Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit about some skincare and like makeup hacks that I have for oily skin. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I have a, like a real struggle with oily skin. And over the years I've developed and discovered some tricks to kind of combat that and keep the oil at bay. And so I thought I'd share all that with you guys because I'm sure a lot of you people out there are probably struggling with the same thing that I am. So I just wanted to tell you guys some of my favorite hacks and skincare tips and makeup tips that really have been helping me over the past few years. So I want to start off by saying that you really need to wash your face like morning and night, like have a serious routine. Since I have been seriously religious about washing my face morning and night really well, um, my skin has gotten so, so much better, um, even with acne and with oil production. So I wanted to tell you guys to really wash your face well. Don't just like splash it with water and a little bit of soap. Like really get in there, really wash it well with a good, like not a harsh soap, but a mild soap. I absolutely love the Purity by Philosophy. Um, it's kind of pricey, but I think it's totally worth it and has really changed my skin for the better since I started using it. So I recommend that to you guys. And after you wash your face really well, I advise you guys to use a moisturizer. I know if you're oily, you're probably like, oh, like I shouldn't use moisturizer, but your skin is producing oil because it's not moisturized enough. It's not hydrated enough. So if you moisturize correctly and you provide your skin with hydration, it's not going to overproduce oil because it's going to be hydrated. I want to recommend this to you guys. This is the Clinique. People are yelling outside my window. Why? Guys, this is the Clinique um, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Now, they make two versions of this. Um, they make the gel and they make the lotion. I don't want you guys to get the lotion if you have oily skin because the lotion has a lot more of like a thick and like oily consistency and it's going to make you oilier. The gel is so much different. Like it's not that much different, but it's so much different for oily skin. It's so much better because it's more of a like water based gel instead of such a thick lotion. And it even says on here that it's for combination oily to oily skin. This is going to work wonders for oily skin. I use this morning and night. And I also recommend to you guys the um, the Clinique Moisture Surge. It comes in like a pink jar. I think I have it in here somewhere. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, this is like a heavy duty uh, moisturizer. This is also a gel consistency. I absolutely love this. I've been using this for years now, along with this product as well. I've been using them both for years now, like since like junior high. Um, and they have done wonders for my skin. And I really, like, if there's one thing that you guys take away from this, it is moisturize, and these Clinique products will do that for you. So the next thing I wanted to bring up to you guys is Milk of Magnesia. I, I saw this on Pinterest or something, but I don't really remember where, but I'm not even sure what this is really for. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of laxative, but hang on. If you take a cotton pad, this is just a regular little round, and I'm not going to do it, but... Just put it on the cap here and get a little bit on this cotton pad and wipe it on your problem areas. I wipe it here, all around this area and on my forehead and on my chin. I do this after I have moisturized and done all my skincare. After I have washed my face, moisturized and all that, I will let that sink in for a while and then I will do this. And this is really going to keep the oil down um, for under your makeup. This is a great hack for under your makeup. And I advise you guys to do this. Do this first and then prime with your regular primer that you like for your skin. Um, it's really going to combat that oily skin and it's going to stop the oil from breaking through your makeup. It has, ever since I started doing this, I started doing this like a month ago, it has changed my makeup game and I really recommend this to you guys. You can get these at any like drugstore, Walmart, Walgreens, any of that um, for just a few dollars. I believe this was like three dollars or something maybe i'm not even sure but this is going to last forever like this is still completely full um i have used it every day when i do my makeup and it really helps with the oil i can feel after it dries down i can feel that it's kind of like making my skin tight in a way which is what i like because i like to feel that dryness in this area 
so that when I put my makeup on, the oil doesn't break through so much. So the next thing is after I do the Milk of Magnesia, I use a primer. I make sure to let that Milk of Magnesia soak in first before you put the primer on. Let it sit for like six to like eight minutes or so. And you need to use a mattifying primer. I know it's sad, we all want the dewy look. We all want to look radiant and dewy and moisturized. But for oily people, you cannot do that. You cannot just have a radiant primer underneath. It's going to make you look shiny in a bad way. Um, I'm going to tell you guys to use a mattifying primer. This is my Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I swear by this for oily skin. It's like the best primer I have tried for oily skin. Like, I just can't rave enough about this product. Go get it. Go buy it. It's so good. So after I do the Milk of Magnesia, I put a little bit of this on my fingers and I press it into my problem areas and then whatever is left over my fingers, I press it into the forehead and the chin. And you have to make sure that that Milk of Magnesia has really set before you put this on because they're gonna like, if you don't, it's just gonna like layer on top of each other and they're gonna like bunch up in areas and it's, it's not good. So make sure you let each product really dry before you go into the next thing, but yeah. Primer, mattifying primer. I know this is a great one. There's the Hourglass, I believe it's called the Mineral Veil. People like to rave about that for oily skin as well. And I think there's a, a drugstore one that people really like is the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Primer. I think that's something that people have been raving about. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try that sometime soon. But yeah, mattifying primer and don't rub it into your skin. You wanna press it into your problem areas. And you can use a regular, like I will use this in my t-zone area and then I'll put a regular primer everywhere else so the next thing I wanted to talk about is blotting your face now I don't have any blotting papers I have to go and get some here see when I really need some but when you don't have blotting papers you can use tissue or toilet paper it's you know cheap <laughs> um, but you this is already separated but if you have a tissue or toilet paper make sure you separate it so that they're one ply instead of like the two ply as they normally come what I do when I'm doing my makeup, I will blot my problem areas before and after I do my makeup. So I've done all my skincare and I'm ready to do my makeup. But before I do, I make sure I blot this area just to make sure there's absolutely... Why did my phone just pick that up? <laughs> just to make sure that there's absolutely no oil in this area, and then I'll go ahead and do my makeup. And after I'm finished with my makeup, I make sure to go in and blot this area again before I set it. And setting spray is the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you have oily skin, you need a good um, setting spray that's going to combat the oily skin. This is the Urban Decay D-Slick. I've been using this for years as well, and I swear by this. This is an awesome, awesome setting spray for oily skin. Um, what I do after I do the blotting, af right after I do the blotting, I will spray this like four times in my face before I do my makeup. And this is also going to help the oil stop go um, stopping from coming through. Again, after I blot with the tissue or toilet paper or whatever, after I've done my makeup, I will spray with this again after I'm done. And it really... <laughs> like this stuff is great like you just you need it if you have oily skin you need the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray like this will change your life so another thing to keep in mind with oily skin is that you need to use a mattifying foundation I know it sucks you, you can't use any of those like radiant like glowy foundations and you just look so like you have a radiant glow to you but you you can't like I'm sorry it's not gonna work for you it's gonna work for like five minutes and then by the end of the day you're gonna be a oil slick so I want to tell you guys to use matte foundation. Like this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, like, and this is another great one is the Clinique Stay Matte. I also absolutely love the Rimmel Stay Matte and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless is another great one. There's so many great ones out there, honestly, you guys. Like you just need a mattifying foundation. Like try some out, see what you like for your skin, and you just you have to use it. You can't use a radiant foundation; it's not going to work. Um, and I also wanted to talk about the way you apply these. Normally with oily skin, you want to use a brush. Um, I use a beauty blender, like I'm an oily girl, but I do use a, a beauty blender because I just love the finish that it gives. It gives such a better finish. But I do find that when I use brushes, it does, like, it helps stop the oil a little bit more because 
the beauty blender has all the water in it and you're like pushing the water into your skin as well as the foundation but it's it's not that big of a deal do whatever you want but I want to talk about how to apply it because I want you guys to know that when you apply your foundation like apply it here, let me get my beauty blender so if I have it like I'll dot it on my skin here and I'll blend it in this whole like outer area and I will do all of the outside of my face in foundation first and then like whatever is left over on my beauty blender I will go in and do like my nose and forehead and chin with whatever's left over because you don't want to like put foundation directly onto your problem areas with oil because the oil is just gonna, gonna want to break through that thick layer so you want to use a really thin layer in your problem areas so I use whatever is left over on my beauty blender and I go over my nose with whatever is left because I don't want a thick layer over those problem areas. Another thing to keep in mind with oily skin is having a good translucent powder to set your makeup with. I'm sure you guys know the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder is like absolutely everyone's favorite on YouTube. It's just so good. Like I can't tell you guys. It's just that's why it's so expensive because it's so good. It is so expensive. Like lots of money. But it is so worth it. I love, love, love this product. I Ever since I started using this, I have not gone to anything else. Like, I've used some other powders for day-to-day -day stuff, but, like, I will use this all, all the time. Like, this is my holy grail powder. I want to tell you guys to use it with a puff. Like I said, I don't know why. I recently bought, like, the smaller version of the Laura Mercier powder because I was running out of this. And I don't know why the small version comes with, like, the puff and then the big version doesn't, like... Why though? But I want to tell you guys to use, um, like put on your powder with a puff. It's going to change the way your makeup sets. You want to get a little bit on your puff and just push it into your skin after you do your foundation. Just press it onto the foundation to set it. If you use a brush, it's just going to sweep it across the skin and it's going to be too light of a layer. You're going to want to have something like this that can really push a good amount of product onto the foundation that will set it and mattify it. This is a great hack for oily skin. I really like, I want you guys to realize how good this is going to work so much better than um, a big fluffy brush like this. Like I was so used to just using a fluffy brush to like sweep my powder like all over my foundation after I would do it. But I realized that once I started using this to set my foundation with powder, it changed everything. Like, I did not have nearly as much oil as I used to. One more thing I want to advise you guys to do, or I guess to not do, like throughout your day if you're an oily girl like me, I advise you not to touch your face. Do not, I can't stress this enough, like, do not touch your face at all. Like, I'm a big culprit, like I do this a lot, I'm like leaning on my hands, or I'm like, oh, like touching my face or whatever. Just don't, like make yourself stop. Like, do not touch your face throughout the day. You have so many germs and oils, like, on your fingertips alone. And touching your face with all that is going to create more oil and it's going to break up your makeup and is just, nobody wants that. So, don't touch your face. Just don't. You work so hard to get your face to look nice with your makeup, just don't touch it. Leave it. I promise you, you will see a difference if you don't touch your face throughout the day. So that is it for this oily hack video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I helped you guys out. Um, I, like I said, I have <laughs> such a problem with it. Like, it sucks. Like, I know people say that oily skin, like, oh, like, you're lucky you have oily skin. Like, as you grow older, like, your skin is going to look nicer. And yeah, like, you're right. But this is me now and, like, I'm, and oil's, like, by, like, 6 o'clock. And it's, like, I understand um, what it's like to have to deal and struggle with the oily skin you guys and I hope that this helps you guys um, maybe like discover some tricks that might help you so if you guys have any hacks that I didn't talk about and you think that might work for me please comment and like tell me what it is and I will definitely be sure to try that and see if it works for me I am such a big like <laughs> fan of trying new hacks for oily skin like anything like I just I have such a problem with it, so I do everything I can. Like, all these steps that I mentioned, I do all of that every day. Like, that's what I do every day to combat this, and it's like, it has really changed my um, my skin and my makeup. And I think that 
doing all of this has really made a difference for me and I think it'll make a difference for you guys too so try it out try some of these things out if you have access to this stuff I hope I helped you guys out and I will see you guys in my next video